Hey guys, it's Tammy and today I want to talk about the aftermath of losing 173 pounds in 18 and a half months. Um, as if you guys don't know my journey, I started out on March 29th, 2016 at 361 pounds. Um, in November of 2017, I hit my goal weight of 190 pounds. Now, um, I was very reluctant to do this video, but you guys know I don't lie to you. I tell you the truth on everything, give you my opinions. Um, I try to do as much research as I possibly can on everything that on the videos that I do for you guys. And, but what you really don't see is the more emotional <laughs> Tammy. Um, I deal with an emotional struggle every day because of loose skin. I look in the mirror and I don't like what I see. And I've already seen a plastic surgeon. She said I was an excellent candidate for stomach re skin removal surgery. I did not need a tummy tuck because my ab muscles were so good that I would just need to have the skin removed. Well, as soon as she had submitted the paperwork into my insurance company, my insurance company denied me because my stomach doesn't hang below my crotch. Um, I really didn't maintain my weight for six months. And there was also other factors too. I didn't have any up, um, any open sores or rashes in between the skin in, in my... Um, rubbing against the skin. I didn't have any um, open rashes. Um, they saw that, you know, from the picture that the plastic surgeon took, that it would not and does not interfere with um, my daily activities. <laughs> well, that's a different story. Um, but anyway, so I thought, you know, why not? I bring you guys everything why not do the aftermath of losing 173 pounds now? So, here we go. You guys want to see my loose skin? Let's start at the top and we'll work our way down, okay? I'm not going to show you any boobs. I'm not going to show you any, you know. I'm going to keep this as PG-13 as possible. Um, I do have to warn you, and you can turn off the video now if you want to, but it will get pretty graphic. Kind of like what you see on the TV show, you know, people who lost gastric bypass uh, or had gastric bypass and lost a lot of weight. Um, they have that extra skin left. So if you don't want to see that in Tammy form, shut the video off now, all right? But I'm just bringing you guys the truth and it's it may not happen to you, um, Long story short, um, in high school I was overweight, but I wasn't really overweight. Um, I had my son when I was 20 years old. I gained 85 pounds with him. And I never really lost any weight after after I had him. I pretty much stayed at 250 to 275 for 20 plus years. And my skin is just so stretched out that there is no cream, there's no wrap, there's no diet, there's no weight training because I have been weight training very heavy now um, for the past year and a half. But for two years, I was doing weight training on my weight loss journey. There's no exercises, there's no nothing that's gonna bring my skin back. You might be fortunate enough if you are young, if you, you, if you lose the weight slowly, um, genetics play an important factor in that. Um, just a lot of things. So I'm just going to bring it to you raw and real. Okay. So let's start with the head. Of course, you know, you're going to lose fat everywhere. Okay. You can't pick and choose where you want it to go from, because let me tell you something, I would have liked it gone more in other places than where it left. So let's start with the face. Okay. So now you guys see my face, right? But if you pull back, my skin, <laughs> you can see a difference, you know? So there's loose, there's loose skin everywhere on my face. <laughs> Actually, I look almost pretty good. Do I look pretty good like this? Yeah, but no. But you know, I don't, you know, my face is my face. I will not have any surgery to touch my moneymaker. But then let's go to the neck. 
Now, as you guys can see, <laughs> I have loose skin on my neck. And it does bother me because I constantly, you know, have to keep my head up, my, you know, because otherwise I have this going on. And if you look from the side, you can kind of see the little turkey thing going on, you know, and stuff like that. <laughs> so, yes, you know, so loose skin is here in my neck. Okay. Now, arms. Uh, my arms, Okay. I got the whole clap wave thing going on. Now, you guys got to remember, I've been training for a year and a half, and I've been lifting heavy weights. I do 15 to 20 pound dumbbell um, arm curls, and I do 35, 40 pound tricep skull crushers. You know, so I'm not doing light weights here. I'm doing heavy weights, and I still have the loose skin. I mean, it flops. You know, I mean, I'm in the, I mean, can you hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear the clapping, but it claps. And when you're brushing your teeth, it actually sounds like somebody's in the bathroom applauding you brushing your teeth. It does get annoying. But when I flex, as you guys can see, you know, it's pretty much gone, but you can't flex 24 seven. So yeah, it's there, it flops. Will it get better? No, I would have to have that removed. Now, let's move on to the boobs, okay? I started out at like a 44 double D, depending on the, depending on the bra, solid 44 around. Um, cup size was a D to a double D, depending on the bra. Now, I want you to close your eyes, because I'm not going to show you my boobs, but I'm just going to describe to you what they look like. Um, I am now a like 40, 38, 40 B. C, depending on the bra. So if you close your eyes and imagine a flat chested person and you stick two pancakes where the boobs are supposed to go, that's exactly what my boobs look like. They have deflated. They're, they are gone. <laughs> they are gone. And it's, it's sad. Um, I really would have loved my boobs to stay. You know, bras do wonders. You know, push up, suck in. But, um, yeah, so that's what happened. Now, I also have, and you're going to have this too, maybe, is back fat. You know, as you can see right here, see all that loose skin right there? I got it on both. I do my back exercises, trust me. I do lat pull downs. I do all that stuff. But it's there. <laughs> it's there, and it's going to stay there. That's why I buy the wide strip um bras so that way i could pull them up and it can hide that you know all right now begin <laughs> um i call her bertha she is my stomach um i've had two c-sections um like i said i gained 85 pounds with my first son and um i only gained like 13 pounds with my daughter 10 years later but I've been a bigger girl my whole life. And the only way that this is Bertha is going to come off is by having skin removal surgery. And um, believe me, no cream wrap or anything is going to bring this back. I've already talked to the plastic surgeon. She said there's n even nothing I can do to even deflate it more. She said, you have primarily loose skin. You have a little bit of fat, but it's primarily loose skin. So are you guys ready? <laughs> All right. So as you can see, this is what I deal with. See how it jiggles? See how, when I bend over? It's kind of gross. It's, it's really gross. And it flaps all over the place. I also have, you know, in the back too, loose skin. And it's, yeah. And then when you pull it, and see what I like about it is that when you pull it and you mush it, I'm skinny again. But once, you know, and it hurts, I have to keep it clean. Um, let's move on to the legs. The legs, I have massive varicose veins 
from um, from standing on my feet when I was younger and it's genetic. So these big veins I have to have removed or lasered. But as you can see, it wiggles <laughs> and it jiggles. But yeah, the loose skin is just, it's everywhere. It's, it's not something I could not avoid because I've been big all my life. Now when I flex, I still have a little bit of loose skin here, but you can kind of see my quad muscles. You know, I also have it in the back area too. You know, my, my butt cheek, it has loose skin. You see that right there? It has loose skin. So loose skin is going to be every, everywhere. Um, that's why um, I have not invested into Spanx yet. I will, I will wear my high-waisted um, workout leggings underneath my jeans. Um, if I were to have the skin removal surgery done on just my stomach, I currently wear a size 10. Um, a lady's jeans. If I were to have the stomach removal surgery on my stomach, which the um, plastic surgeon is anywhere between 10 to 15 pounds, I would definitely be in a size eight. Um, but yeah, that's the aftermath of losing 170 plus pounds in 18 and a half months. Um, it can be avoided for some, like I said, it all depends on genetics, how young you are, how long you've been overweight and a whole bunch of other factors, but believe me, I drink my water, I eat healthy, I do my weight training, you know, and nothing will bring that back. So then that's when it goes into body dysmorphia, it's called. It's basically, you're not happy with, you know, the way your body looks. And that's what I deal with on a daily basis. I actually seek counseling for it because it is so depressing because you are lifting weights and you're trying to lose weight and it works, believe me, and weightlifting does work. It works for me because I love weightlifting. And you try and you try and you try and you're doing great and you're doing fabulous, but then you're like in the back of your mind, loose skin, loose skin, loose skin, you know? And for some, it just has to be removed. And insurance, 90% of the time will not cover it. So if you're just starting your journey or you're just seeing this video, start saving your money so that I wish I did. I really do. I wish I would have started to save money when I started my journey for skin removal surgery. It's going to cost anywhere between six to eight grand just for my stomach. Um, it sucks. It really does suck, but I would rather have the 20 pounds of loose skin that I have all over my body than be 361 pounds again. Um, I, yeah, it wiggles, it jiggles and there's, and there's, there's tricks that you could do to hide it, you know, like the high waisted workout pants and you know, the high, you know, you can go out and get, you know, a, not a waist trainer, but you know, those things like a Spanx or something that you could put around your stomach and stuff like that. But it does get depressing. I'm not going to lie. It does get depressing. But I am very happy with my body and I'm learning to accept it because only I did that to myself. So I hope this video helps you guys. Um, I love you all. Thanks for watching my videos. Hit that like button. Hit that love button. Facebook is watching me to make sure I'm putting out good content, you guys. And good luck on your weight loss journey. And just remember, skin can always be removed. You guys, it can always be removed. But remember to love your bodies no matter what. All right? Do good for your body. I'll talk with you guys later. Have a good day.